the idea is if we make some changes on the back end then we have to be able to refresh the UI like this but right now it doesn't get refreshed for example let's go to the back end so there's our back end and then I want to change this image uh, this is the image over here I change it and I resubmit everything now it changed over here and if I pull it down it doesn't change how to do that and this home page is responsible for showing this UI right so this one home page is responsible for showing this whole UI now of course we're using block so this block builder is showing it now one of the things we could do over here we can wrap this around a widget and that widget is called refresh indicator refresh indicator this one now refresh indicator has on refresh callback so you have to have a function inside this a function that returns a future like if you see that it takes a function and that function has to return a future so which means that it has to wait and return now in our case we know that this on init function if nothing is there it helps us to load data now let's go ahead and check this on init function now we do see that this on init function actually it returns it is a future type but of course it doesn't return anything now of course inside this one of the very first thing we could do over here we can just simply put a return statement that's it now well it returns over here if this condition is not true but what if the conditions are true over here so if the condition is true which means 200 then we can also return and return from here as well now this function is ready to be used inside our home page now in home page over here inside this refresh indicator we can just simply call like this home page controller or home controller actually home controller and then we pass the context and after that we call init method and that's it now let's save it okay now remember earlier we just did a change in our back end now let's go ahead and refresh like this and we do see that the changes are immediate and visible let's try it one more let's go to the back end and change this one as well So we see it changed over here now if we come over here and we refresh beautiful it changes here now of course the changes would be reflected over here as well and it would be reflected here as well that's beautiful which means that our refresh indicator is working with block so it's nothing special actually not much to do with block so all you have to do whatever helps you to load data and trigger events you have to call that function inside on refresh callback and at the same time you have to make sure that you also have a return syntax if you do that and within anywhere of this function you can always trigger events to load data from the server like init method this is loading data from the server and triggering an event and that's as simple as that